Hello, fellow humans out there in the world, living your lives. It's me again. Just thought I'd come on to talk about a few things today. Mostly Halloween, I guess. You know, it's coming up and we've got our Halloween costumes picked out. And this is the first year that we're going to ever be doing group costumes. I'm gonna be the Mad Hatter. My husband's gonna be the White Rabbit. My baby is gonna be the Cheshire Cat. And my sister's gonna be Alice. And I think it's gonna be a really good time. I'm excited, we've got all of our costumes. They're all really good quality. We got them off Amazon. <clears throat> and I was, <clears throat> I was actually really surprised at the quality and um, I'll probably be shopping there next year too for Halloween. Um, but we're all going to get dressed up and go visit family and by the end of the night I think we'll probably go to my husband's parents house and leave the boy there for a couple hours and then go out and see if we can get into any trouble or whatever you know. Um, I've been trying to work out a little bit. I'm, I'm very sore in here you know I haven't been doing it as much as I should, but also, um, throughout my pregnancy, I got really, really lazy. Um, before my pregnancy, I worked out every day, if not four to five days a week. Um, I did, you know, some minimal yoga and just kind of tried to keep my body toned. When I got pregnant, I was really sick for about two or three months. And so, during that time, I just kind of laid in bed, and by the time I wasn't sick anymore, I was so much weaker, and then I started getting big, and, you know, my doctor was telling me, you know, take it easy and stuff like that, and so by the time I had my son, I was 70 pounds heavier than I had been, and I was extremely weak, so, you know, I was 120 pounds when I got pregnant. And I ended up being 190 pounds by the end of my pregnancy. And I am back down to 148 right now. So, you know, still got quite a ways to go. But um, I'm able to do four or five push-ups again now. I started out, I couldn't even do one. So that's a big, a big step in the right direction. I'm super sore um, from just the past couple days trying to you know, leg lifts and push-ups and stuff like that. <clears throat> but I wanted to talk about procrastination because I'm really, really bad with it. So I thought maybe by talking about it, I could kind of overcome it a little bit. You know, I'm the type of person that I have big aspirations, you know, so many things I want to do and need to do so many things I have to get done and then I will sit and think about that and think about that and think about that and never get any of it done and then by the end of the day I just feel like an idiot because I thought about it all day long I thought about oh you need to get the dishes finished you need to get some of the boxes unpacked because we are still moving in we've got a garage full we moved from a five bedroom house to a two bedroom, very tiny house. So we've got a lot of things to sift through. And procrastination is my worst enemy because not, not only am I not getting the things done that I want to get done, but I'm causing harm to my mental and emotional self. You know, I'm giving myself low self value low self-esteem you know I don't have confidence in myself because I don't get half this shit that I try to get done done and then when I do get stuff done it's like well that was so easy and you did such a good job and why can't you do that all the fucking time but I can't I mean I don't know there's like a mental block there I'll end up fucking sitting there staring at the wall thinking about all the things I need to get done and thinking about how much I don't want to do it <clears throat> I'm the type of person I have to really get myself hyped before I do something like I've got to really be into the idea of it. And I thought maybe making a video talking about my issue with procrastination might give me a little oomph 
to like, okay, you address the subject, all right, now let's counteract that, you know? So my plan is, after I get off of here, to do my little workout thing where I, you know, do leg lifts and push-ups and curls with light weights and, um, and then do some stretching. Uh, limber myself up a little bit. And then maybe tidy the living room and move on to the kitchen. That's my plan. Hopefully, I get it all taken care of. But, yeah. I'm sure a lot of people deal with procrastination. I'm sure some of you watching deal with procrastination. And maybe if you do and you have some tips about how you combat your procrastination, you could drop them below in the comment section. Maybe I could try them out. Maybe we could come back to this thought on a different day and work together to overcome our procrastination. Um, I created a little word based off procrastination. It's called procrastination. So it's like, all right, we have this place that we want to reach someday in our lives, you know, when we're old and frail, we want to be here, you know, that we want to do this. We want to have all of this stuff behind us, and this is what we want our lives to look at, to look like. But, you know, for us procrastinators, it's definitely a procrastination destination because we put everything off for so long, probably chances are when we get old, half the shit that we wanted to do is going to be just a desire that never got fed, you know, and, um, I'm all about feeding desires and, and actually doing the shit that you want to do in your life and making it count. You know, a lot of people spend time on video games or Facebook or drama or drugs or anything like that. And as fulfilling as those things feel in the moment, they're not. And a healthy mind would know that. So, I hope that today you complete at least five tasks that you wanted to complete when you woke up this morning. And I hope that you do not procrastinate them. I hope you have time at the end of the day to relax in the knowingness that you completed the things that you wanted to complete. Because that's what it's all about, you know. Let's try not to relax from the time we wake up to three hours before we're supposed to go to bed and then anxiety finish all the things that we tried to do. Let's, let's try to get all the stuff done that we wanted to get done, take our time on it, and then relax this evening instead. So I hope that you guys have a good day, a good week, a good month, a good rest of this year, because I know that we all deserve it. Thanks for stopping in.